A new Great Wolf Lodge location in Manteca was just opened in 2021. It is about two hours away from San Francisco. The Manteca location is a bit smaller than the one in Anaheim, but they still have tons of activity such as rope course, magic quest, arcade, mini bowling, mini golf, and of course, we're going into the water park right now. Great Wolf Lodge is extremely safe for kids. There are lifeguards everywhere, and you can also find life jacket in different sizes provided for free. Planning water park visit used to be a summer thing, but with heated pool inside a temperature control building, you can visit Great Wolf Lodge even during Christmas holiday. For those of you who has motion sickness, you may not feel comfortable being inside a closed tube. They do have the open ones. You can still have fun. If you just want to sit back and relax, the Lazy River will be the perfect place for you. One thing I noticed: they don't put enough tubes on the river for people to use. It is actually easier for you to walk into the river and try to spot people who are giving up theirs. If you do need a break, there's food stand and a bar inside the water park area. Only purchased food is allowed inside the water park area, but you can have your own food and drinks in other seating areas outside of the water park. There's free refill for your entire stay if you purchase a refillable cup, but the cost adds up if you have a big family. I do bring my own soda and cups. I can get ice very easily from the vending room on each floor. By the way, there's also a microwave for you to use if you don't have one in your room. Let's go take a look at the room. We made reservation for two nights in a Wolf Den suite. It was during Thanksgiving holiday and the cost was about $700. The main features of the room was the den for the kids. There's no TV in the den. If your kids are planning to have a video party inside the den, you may need to double check with the front desk. There used to be a TV in the den when I was in the Anaheim and the Scottsdale, Arizona locations. The hotel building is big. I would ask for a room closer to the elevator if I have a choice. Or I would still ask to see if I can be placed on the second or third floor closer to the stairs. There are plenty of elevators, but it can only feed one family at a time if everyone is having a moving cart during check-in and check-out period. I brought my own wagon so that I wouldn't need to go find a moving cart during peak hours. For your breakfast options, they say $22 breakfast buffet. I remember that the menu used to be much better before the pandemic, but now I don't think it's worth it. Dunkin' Donuts is another good option, but the line gets long as early as 7.30 a.m., so you need to plan ahead. Inside the lodge, there is also a place to order salad, pizza, and pasta. If you like to sit down in a full service restaurant, you may want to make a reservation ahead of time just to save time when waiting for a table. While you're having your lunch or early dinner, that is probably the best time for you to sign up on the group course waiting list. They will text you on your phone when your turn is almost ready.
Arcade is one of our favorite activities, but it has been getting a lot more expensive and less a payout. The quality of the price has also been degraded compared to our visit in the past. I suggest to buy your own price from outside and do your own exchange if you have little kids, so you have a choice not to overpay until you get something. When my daughter was younger, our last activity was always more than an hour of Magic Quest. Then we ended our day with ice cream. They closed at 10. If you find my video helpful, please do subscribe and like. Have a fun trip and see you next time.